Welcome to Poetry with Shing, where we uncover the beauty behind poetry. The poem of this week is The Struggle Staggers Us by Margaret Walker. So, to begin with, I'll read the poem. The Struggle Staggers Us. Our birth and death are easy hours like sleep and food and drink. The struggle staggers us for bright for bread, for pride, for simple dignity. And this is more than fighting to exist, more than revolt and war and human odds. There is a journey from the me to you. There is a journey from the you to me. A union of the two strange worlds must be. Ours is a struggle from a too warm bed, too cluttered with a patience full of sleep. Out of this blackness we must struggle forth from want of from want of bread, of pride, of dignity. Struggle between the morning and the night, this marks our years, this settles to our plight. Okay, so now we're going to look at the poem. It's fairly short, so let's begin. So, our birth and death, death are easy hours, because this, because birth and death are rather inevitable. So, like, okay, un- uncontrollable is not exactly the best word, but rather birthing and dying are um, rather inevitable. It's just a slight cyclic nature of life. And in but in between that, we actually have a lot of stuff happening, which is like struggling to fight for yourself. And yeah, it's easy to come and to go, is essentially what Margaret Walker is trying to say. But what happens in between is another thing. Sleep, food, drink, these are all daily necessities. But the struggle staggers us for all these. For bread, what's the difference between food and bread? For me, I think food is more of like, um, just nutrition, but for bread, it's more of dough, you know, dough as in like money, or maybe bread as in specific kinds of food, so it means that over here you're being very um, picky about what you're doing, and this shows a certain level of um, class, or certain level of pride in your status in society pride and simple for pride for simple dignity so it is so i think the poet here is trying to talk about even um because it's difficult to even get simple dignity i think she's pro she's probably talking about discrimination prejudices in the in society itself so like systemic um discrimination or like racism all these kinds of issues that still trouble our world today and a lot of people still struggle to make let their voices be heard and to make their mark because of all these inherent biases against them this is more than fighting to exist more than revolt and war in human odds so fighting to exist there is a journey from the me to you there's a journey from the you to me so here I will say it's definitely a kind of connection which brings to the question uh, which brings um, the question about human connections and relationships what, is this, what does this tell you about human connections is it a must it, is human connection and interaction actually a very um, integral part of our lives I think yes because it is talking about conversations connecting with others such that people will start to um, see beyond their differences and start to see their commonalities and from there perhaps discrimination prejudices uh, will not happen so uh, um, so often anymore so over here the poet note that the poet also says it's more than fighting to exist more than revolt and war in human odds so what is it then if it's more than all these is it more what is it? Um, because over here, all these words all just contribute to just fighting against the odds and just like battling their way through. But so if it's more than battling your way through, then what is it? Is it letting your voice be heard? Or is it just making your mark in the world? Or is it something beyond that? Something about a human touch, the human connection, or even a human perception of like um, your, your status, your race, your religion, all these ideas about how maybe perhaps it's not only a battle for personal, um, it's not only a battle to get gain respect but also a battle to let your identity be heard, your identity be felt. So there's something to consider. 
So it's a journey from the me to you and the you to me again, okay, connecting with others. I've already covered that just now. A union of the two strange worlds must be a union. So you see here, it's not only a mutual understanding, but a union as in both parties mutually accept each other and also um, kind of like claim the other to be part of your identity as well, perhaps as um, part of the human race. So a union of two strange worlds must be. So you realize here, very rightly pointed out, it's a rhyme and it's more, not only a rhyme, it's a couplet. So you realize that, actually I think it's Shakespeare, there's a lot of couplets used. So perhaps what is the poet trying to say by using a couplet? Is it that love must be um, an integral part, must always exist in our lives for our society to be actually um, harmonious? So... Now we're going to move on to the next um, stanza, which is Ours is a struggle from a too warm bit, too cluttered with a patience full of sleep. Out of this blackness, we must struggle forth for want of bread, of pride, of dignity. So over here, ours is a struggle from a too warm bit. Ours is who? Who is it? Too warm bit. So this could possibly mean um, sense of entitlement. Because it's too warm. Warm bits actually signify um, comfort, but a too warm bit, maybe you're entitled already, you um, you actually take it for granted. Too cluttered with a patience full of sleep, so it shows again the, ent uh, again the entitlement. Full of sleep, uh, it's a privilege to be able to sleep. Um, out of this blackness, so we must struggle for. So what is the blackness? Is it the indifference to all these world sufferings? We must struggle forth. So again, the idea of struggling. So essentially, the poet perhaps is trying to say that even people who are entitled, who are very fortunate, they also have struggles. So everybody, so, so perhaps the poet is trying to say struggle is inevitable and part of the human experience. Just that it exists in different forms for different people. So, out of this blackness, we must struggle for from want of bread, of pride, of dignity. So, you realize here of dignity vs versus, so I'm going to use another color here simple dignity and just plain dignity. What is the difference? Struggle between the morning and night. This marks our years. This settles to our plight. Okay, before we end it, right? I'm going to talk about this. Struggle between the morning and the night. So struggle to pass time. So struggle is... There's also an element of time. Because the struggle is something that will continue happening. And it's a cyclic nature of time. There's also the element of time in the struggle. It depends on the duration of the struggle. But ultimately... It takes up time and it's also a battle between um it's also a battle against time because a lot of people say oh they have not enough time right because they're struggling to um they're just battling with this notion and concept of time because a lot of people perhaps might think that they don't have enough time but then again time is actually a theoretical concept that is invented by humans to make sense of the world so what exactly is time this marks our years, this settles to our plight. So plight is actually a very like, it's just like a bad thing. It's, a, um, it's just like their fate. So it actually kind of have a premonition, foreboding, uh, kind of a uh, tone to it. And you, hear, and you see here that there's another couplet. Is it just for a nice uh, tone to it? Or is there something deeper to the use of couplets for the last two stanzas? So that's something you can think about. So that's all for The Struggle Staggers Us by Margaret Walker. If you would like another poem to be analyzed, please comment the poem and poet in the comments below.